another tip that is necessary for growth is please don't go and put no bleach in your locks at such an early stage. What you saying gals? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we live life the affordable way. My name is Monique Kwa. We have another lock video. Today we're going to be talking about growth tips for starter locks. I know how it is to be in your starter lock stage and feel like your locks aren't growing. I was once there. These tips are going to help you get through your starter lock journey. Keeping your hands out your hair. I am a victim of picking on your locks. Like I still do it up to this day. But in order for your starter locks to grow and grow successfully, you have to keep your hands out of your hair. And I know it's hard to resist the urge of putting your hand in your hair. It's hard to not be playing with it. But you have to understand you don't want to manipulate your hair. Your hair is still in an early stage. You want your starter locks to flourish as much as possible. Possible. so the best way that your locks can flourish is simply leaving it alone another important growth tip for your starter locks is moisturizing just because you have starter locks do not feel like you don't have to moisturize your locks moisture is definitely key when it comes to growth I preach this on my channel I am also a victim of growth by moisture so having a mist bottle you need a mist bottle when you're moisturizing your starter lock. Also good to have an oil bottle. This oil is Jamaican black castor oil. You can use a pure castor oil, almond oil. Like there's so much different oils that you can use when you're moisturizing your hair. But you have to make sure it's a light oil because keep in mind your locks just start. You don't want to use no heavy product or heavy oil on your hair. Another important tip that is relevant for growth is definitely not retwisting too soon. Like. You can't put in your cone cause or your start twist today and then want to retwist next week. Like it doesn't work like that. Your locks need time to grow and it's good to give it time. Like me, I didn't retwist my locks until I was about six weeks in because I was scared. And another tip is I never style, I didn't style my locks when I first put my cone cause in. Like I know it's so ordinary for everybody to put a style in when they first get their cone cause but I was just thugging it out. I left my cone cause as is. When it was time for me to get my initial retwist, my hair was already a good length and my roots have already grown up from the initial coil. So I was able to see, you know, some sort of growth. And that's what you want. You want your hair to grow. You want your locks to grow. You don't want to hinder your growth by retwisting too soon because, you know, don't retwist too soon and don't style too soon. Those two are my most important tips. Another tip that is necessary for growth is please don't go and put no bleach in your locks at such an early stage. Like I have been four years locked and I have never bleached my locks. Never. I dye my locks but I have not bleached my locks and let me tell you why. When I was coming up, first of all there were not a lot of 4C videos there for me to look at. As you can see my locks are fussy hair and when I start off I started really short and I wanted to find somebody who started off short as me but I couldn't find nobody who started off short as me and I couldn't find nobody had the exact same locks as me and when I did find them their locks were already damaged back when I started like it wasn't no inspiration or no go-to look for me and I would see videos of where the locks look extremely bad being that it's bleach and those same people who I saw back in the day is, has now cut off their locks due to bleach damage. So I feel like bleaching does hinder your growth. Yes, you're bleaching what they call it dead hair but bleach basically tears, strips away hair like it's stripping away your hair and your hair will start to shed and you don't want to cut off the pieces that you bleach when you could just avoid it you know I feel like if you have the urge to bleach like bleach one or two strands but don't go bleaching your whole head and then regretting it later so that is another important tip for necessary growth with your starter locks another tip that is necessary for your starter locks growth is definitely don't worry about what people have to say like I know how it is people always question you about the choices that you made like when I first started my locks a lot of people asked me why I lock my hair or why I do that to my hair I don't know why they was asking me that because number one I wasn't wearing my natural hair at all I always was wearing wigs or braids so like what I decided to do was you know more so like a personal choice but there are going to be people like who always have something to say they'll say it's not feminine you know cause your confidence to come down 
they'll stereotype you on jobs and the starter lock stage is a very delicate stage like you have to be very open-minded when you start your locks because it's not gonna look perfect all the time and when you put those cool coils in like that's your journey like your journey has started so you want to be very careful of the people that you're listening to and taking advice from and it's also good to follow people who are on the same journey as you because you cannot relate to somebody who has natural natural hair a lock journey and natural hair journey is two different journeys so It'll be good to find somebody like who has locks and who's natural and natural where you can relate and you know they share their experiences with you. So don't let people get to you. Another tip that is very necessary for start lock growth be washing your hair. Like don't wash your hair too soon, but you cannot not wash your hair. Like hygiene is always important. You don't want your hair smelling bad, you don't want nobody smelling your hair. First got my initial locks, I waited about six weeks. The mark for your starter locks is definitely four, but I waited six weeks, being that my hair wasn't, you know, it wasn't, I don't have, I'm not one of those girls, like, who goes to the gym a lot or has odor coming from their hair, like, I was not, so I could have waited, but if you are somebody, like, who suffered with odor coming from your hair or sweats easily and your hair starts to smell bad, you can use a stocking cap over your head and run some water over your head without, and your locks won't come out. So you wouldn't have to be scared, you know? So it, was, it is best to, you know, take safe measures. And if you're doing it yourself, yourself and you're scared, go to a loctician. But I do say go to a loctician in a four week mark, you know? So they can have something to work with, they can see how far you is. And if you're worried about unraveling, because my hair did unravel when I washed my hair, I just, take my hand and I comb coil them back in. That is a very important tip when it comes to your starter locks. And then another tip, another important tip when it comes to your starter locks have to be covering your hair at night. I know how it is, you wanna show off your locks, you wanna, you can't wait for it to hang, you're like you in the mirror 24 seven, but you have to cover your locks at night. And when you go in certain areas, like dust, wind, sand, beach, like. So it's always good to sleep with your hair covered. I use a bonnet. You can use a bonnet, but keep in mind, bonnets, and when you're in the starting lock stage, it can't slip off because it doesn't have nothing to work with. So it's good to use like a sleep cap, or maybe a do-rag, um, a hair cloth, or what they call it, bandanas. Um, those things are good to use when you're just starting your locks journey and it will stay on at night before i do close off this video i just want to give you all a little piece of advice i know the process is hard when you're just starting your starter log journey but i just want you to be encouraged i just want you to know know and understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel your locks are like a flower blooming so you have to trust the process because Yes, we go through it all on our lock journey and you'll see why it's a lock journey and if you're already on your lock journey, maybe you're probably experiencing certain challenges or certain things or one of these tips that was very helpful to you, but just try to stay in the journey, like try to at least get there and see what the beauty is because only you know what the beauty is at the end of the light, at the end. You know what your end goal is so I always tell people to just trust the process don't give up it's hard but you will get there so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy locks and beauty videos and also drop a comment down below if any of these tips resonate with you if these tips was helpful if you have a tip maybe how far you are in your journey comments always are important and necessary because you can help somebody else thank you so much for watching